All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I want to do my first of two uh, NBA recaps here. Now, first game, I want to talk about my Golden State Warriors. I'm back doing the Warriors. I didn't do the game against the first game against the Spurs where they lost because because Kentucky played that day, got a big win. Um, my high school that day got a big win to miss the championship, which they won tonight. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to let the Warriors ruin my mood and ran on it because I was having a really good day. So I was like, I'll just do the second game that they play. So the Golden State Warriors uh, beat the Spurs 112-102 reaction. Uh, they, so luckily they win at least one of these games against San Antonio. It would have been nice to win both, but at least they bounced back off the win here tonight with a really with that big third quarter. Outscored um, the Spurs 32-18 with that uh, big quarter. Trace Jackson Davis, man. 13 points, 5 assists, 10 rebounds. Had that duck over Wimbyama had that big poster. I don't know how Trace Jackson Davis fell to the 57th pick in the draft. I mean, the dude was underrated at Indiana. Or was, I shouldn't say in, underrated, but was really good at Indiana. I don't know how he fell to the 57th pick in the draft because I thought he was a great prospect, and I'm glad he fell to the Warriors because he's so good, man. He's, a, he's so good for this team. I think he's the perfect fit. He was phenomenal. Um... Six of seven from the floor, 13, 10, and five. And he's having a really good season. And he's starting to get more minutes as time goes. He had that big poster on Wimby. I mean, just un freaking believable. And they have a rookie second round pick, mind, remind you, rejecting Wimby or Giannis Antetokounmpo twice in one possession last week and flushing a big poster dunk over Wimby on five days later. Game changing stuff is becoming spectacle for Trace Jackson Davis. And, and having five assists, he he shared the basketball really well as uh, as well in this basketball game. Great game from Trace Jackson Davis. Jonathan Kaminga, twenty two points, five rebounds, uh, nine of eighteen shooting, and it was really a team effort to pick up the road win. Kaminga really cooked in that third quarter. Really helped the Warriors as, as well. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, 16 points, 2 assists, 4 rebounds, uh, 6 of 8 shooting. Great game from Andrew Wiggins. Uh, Chris Paul, 19 points, 8 assists, 9 rebounds, 9 of 19. Uh, credit to Chris Paul. I thought Chris Paul uh, gave the Warriors good minutes tonight uh, in the starting lineup. Brandon Pajemski, 14 points, 4 assists, 8 rebounds, 5 of 10 shooting. And that's his 37th game of 5 plus rebounds this year. So I thought the rookies played good tonight. 3 of three, three of 5 from 3 for Pajemski as well. Um, one steal and a block. I thought him and Trace Jackson Davis gave some really good minutes. And it, he has much higher basketball IQ. So, so good um, basketball IQ and high energy rookies who can be relied on. And he draws so many charges as well. Uh, Clay Thompson, 21 points. Uh, 8 of 21. 21 for Clay. Draymond, 5 points, 4 assists, 6 rebounds. 2 of 7, but he fouled out. Uh, Gary Payton second, two assists. Didn't take a shot, but he had two assists. Moody, two points, one rebound. Um, one of three. So, really a team effort from the Warriors tonight. Used six players in double digits to get this win. And shot 49% from the floor, 44 from three. The Spurs really cooled off in this, ga uh, in this game. 41% from the floor and 37% from three compared to where they shot like at least 6 50 something, 50 60% in the last game. And the Warriors really used that big third quarter, 32-18 to pull away. Had a slow first quarter, 37-29, but the Warriors' defense really locked in after that, really limiting the Spurs' offense to improve. So the Warriors improved to 34-30, Spurs dropped to 14-51. and So let's go over the Spurs statistics here. I uh, went Niyama, 27 points, 3 assists, 14 rebounds, 10 of 25. I mean, I mean, yeah, he's been in some good stats, 20 and 10, but he should, should be shooting better than 46%. For a seven like six guy, seven five guy, but his percentage percentage will get better throughout his throughout uh, the what throughout the way or just the way the the way is the what am I trying to say? Just kind of a stroke there. Just as his career progresses, I think that shooting percentage will go up. He's shooting like forty two percent from three after the All Star break. So he's, he's shooting good from three. It's just you know it's just tough getting poster on. Sometimes it happens. It's basketball. It happens. But he was really their best player tonight. Uh, Zach Collins, 10 points, 10 rebounds, 5 of 8, so a double-double from him. Uh, Dominic Barlow, 2 points, 3 rebounds, uh, 1 for 3. Don't know why he didn't play much, because he done really good the last game against the Warriors. Uh, Champagny, 9 points, 
three for five. Uh, Sohan, 9 points, 7 assists, 7 rebounds, uh, 4 of 10. Vassell, 17 points, but 5 of 14, not good efficiency. Uh, Trey Jones, 6 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds. I mean, Trey Jones, he's, he had some good minutes in this game. Trey Jones did. Uh, Blake Wesley, 4 points, 3 assists. Some good minutes from Blake Wesley. Uh, Count Johnson, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 5 of 12. I thought Wimby was their best player tonight despite getting postered. Yeah, the Spurs just come back to earth in this game. Didn't shoot as great from 3 as they did last game. 30, 14, 37, 37%. The Warriors just used a team effort and then that big third quarter. So, 112, 102, Warriors win. That's all for saying. Till next time, have a lot. Peace.